Hello all you cutie patooties. It's so good to be back in the kitchen with you again. It's been a while. I don't get to cook every day like I always want to, but today's one of the days I get to cook and we're gonna have a simple little dish and I'll be making it later and I need a can of creamed corn. I don't particularly like canned creamed corn. I prefer to make my own. I wanna show you how to do it. Very, very easy. If you had some fresh corn on the cob, it'd be even better, but it's winter, we don't have it. So let's just make it with this. First thing we're gonna do is rinse and drain the corn very, very well. Let me show you the next step. Let me see if I can get thin. So I got thrown off my game when I was letting Finn in the house. So what you want to do is put two tablespoons of butter in your skillet and let it melt. And then you're going to add, oh, probably about a half of a cup of milk. Or, I'm sorry, half of a cup of half and half. You could use milk if you wanted. And then I'll continue on for my little faux pas. A fin paw. <laughs> and add your can of corn to the hot milk and butter mixture. And just give it a little stir every now and then while it's reducing a little bit. We're gonna do this for a total of about five minutes. Alrighty, it's cooked and reduced down just a little bit. So next we're going to do is thicken it. So I've got one tablespoon of cornstarch and I need about a tablespoon approximately of ice cold water. I always put an ice cube in my water and let it sit there because you want the, the liquid that's going into the hot liquid to be really, really cold into the boiling water. Just a nice little thin layer. So then you're just going to mix that right in here and it's going to thicken up slightly. Already thickening up nicely. Turn it way down. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I don't want it bumpy, I want it thin. This is so much better than canned because you've actually got real half and half in it. <clears throat> I'm liking, I'm liking. I'm going to add just a tad more. Get it right where I want it. Tad more. You want it to be loose. Now I'm happy. <clears throat> so next thing we're going to do is we are going to season it with some salt. Easy there. Don't go crazy. Nothing better than salt and corn milk. And pepper. I love lots of pepper on my corn. I creamed corn to be a little bit sweet, so I'm going to add about a teaspoon of sugar. Just mix it in real good. You can leave that out if you prefer. If you've got really good fresh corn, you will not need that. But sometimes this canned corn, it's more salty than sweet. That's why you rinse it so well before you make it. Give that a try and see if you like it. I know I do. Okay, our cream corn is done. If you're eating it by itself, just put a dab of butter on the top of it. Sprinkle it with a little bit of parsley or green onion. Whatever makes you happy. And let's give it a try. That is so much better than canned cream corn. Much, much better. And this will go great in my casserole I'm getting ready to make for you. So if you need cans of cream corn and you don't have any, just make your own right here. Leave the butter and parsley out. It's not necessary for your dish. But if you're just eating it on your own, you could sprinkle green onions, onion tops. Mmm, that'd be really, really good. 
or some chili powder. That'd be delicious as well. Or just kind of leave it plain and use it for the dish I'm getting ready to make. It's been so nice being in the kitchen with y'all again. I hope you have a lovely weekend and toodaloo.